there's a second flower that superficially looks sort of similar, mostly because they're found in close proximity and they have the pink and white uh, colors. Which one is that? The ground pink, which is in the pink family. Pink family is a carnation family, right? Correct. And of course, the, the reason that they're called pink isn't from their color. It's from the pinking along the edges of their petals. And I had read that that comes from an old use of the verb to pink from the 14th century English, where it meant to fringe something. And so flowers that had fringes were called pinks. And then it was only later, because many of those flowers had the color pink, that the color name pink came from it. So um, I like that. So many, many flowers that we call pinks has nothing to do with the color. It's just That's the fringe it. shape, as right. in pinking shears. Right. Exactly. So how is the ground pink uh, different than, say, the San Verbena? Because I've had people say, oh, that's just a bigger version of the, the, the San Verbena. No, they're single flowers. They're not clusters of flowers. They're, they're very small, close to the ground um, annuals. Although the flowers themselves tend to be bigger than, uh, in general, than the, the, right. than yes. the San yes. Verbena. They're maybe three quarters of an inch across. Uh, it's just a guess. And but the, yes, they've they've got the, the pink and then a white center, but also little dark spots, uh, four dark spots in there, or, or is it five? <laughs> and the foliage is very different too. How would you describe the the foliage, the leaves? Almost negligible. <laughs> they're they're very thin. And. Um, not much to them at all. And they don't have as long a blooming season as the beach sand verbena, right. do they? They wouldn't have much root. They, they're, they're an annual that gets it over with fast. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got its seed for next year. <laughs>